All right. We're going to go ahead and get started this evening. Certainly good to see all those that we have here with us. Uh, just want to make a few announcements before we get started. Um, let me back up. So if somebody's listening to the Bible on their phone. Uh, so anyway, but uh, certainly good to see everybody this uh, this evening. Of course, tonight's Bible quiz night, so I hope you're looking forward to Mark's, uh, Mark's questions. I know we all look forward to them, don't we? And uh, so certainly we'll do that here in a moment. I've asked uh, Randall if he'll lead us in an opening prayer. I want to make a few announcements, though, before we get started. Uh, do remember all of those that are on our second prayer list. Um, to make sure you make yourself familiar uh, with those. And uh, certainly uh, keep in your prayers uh, Eddie Bull and Rick Tubbs as they are in Romania at this time. So do make sure you pray for them. Not only that they have success over there, but also uh, their safe travels as well. Uh, also, as mentioned uh, about uh, for the youth, uh, uh, EYC, uh, for the Exposure Youth Conference, the sign-up sheet is in the foyer if you would like to go. So make sure you sign up, uh, sign up the, if you want to go, sign the sign-up sheet in the foyer. So do remember that. Uh, of course, today was a Bible Bowl at the Blackwater Church of Christ. And, uh, you know, it was a long time uh, since Midway's participated in the area-wide Bible Bowl. And it's been a day or two. And we're really proud of the kids, and they placed third today. And uh, they, uh, they, mi they missed two, and there's 40 questions. So they did a really, really good job on that, a uh, really good team effort. And I uh, said, so we're proud of them, and they're studying. And I said, well, now y'all know how, uh, how the questions are asked, so next time we'll make 100 on it. But uh, we're real proud of them, and uh, make sure you congratulate the kids on, on that um, as well. Uh, is there any analysis at this time that needs to be made before we go ahead and get started this evening? All right, if not, Randall, come with us. Bow with me, please. Father, help me thank you for this day and the many blessings in it, this beautiful Lord's Day you give us together to come to, to worship you, but also to be able to <coughs> fellowship with our brothers and sisters and what it means to have that freedom in this country to do these things, Lord. We thank you for the Bible that you've given us to study from, to please let, her, let us have a better understanding of the things that are in it. Uh, we thank you most of all for the sacrifice of you and your son, you by sending him and him a coming and living on this earth as a human and, and living through those temptations and trials that we would go through and then sacrificing himself on that cross, dying on that cruel cross of Calvary for our sins that we may have at home in heaven someday and let us live our lives where we deserve that home when this life is over. We ask you to be with the leaders of our churches, the elders here, my way especially they do this in a way it's well pleasing unto you that we do much good and gain much out of what we do and everything we always do is to your honor glory and praise we thank you for the men and women that labor for you daily in speaking teaching preaching missionary work what it means to have them in our lives willing to do these things we ask you to be with the deacons that they follow in footsteps the elders the things we have going on may come about lord we ask you to be with especially with the leaders of our countries here in the united states especially that they lead us in a way that's well pleasing to you that that through their decisions, peace may be up on this earth, but I ask you to touch the leaders in this country, Lord, that, that through their decisions, we get back to that godly Christian nation we once was and need to be again very badly for them to quit leading us in this chaos and turmoil and lead us what's best for the people in the country. And if they don't, give us that courage and the strength to, to stand up to them and vote them out and put people in at will. We thank you for our brothers and sisters in Christ and what it means to have them in our lives to be there to help us in our trouble, to comfort our sorrow, but mostly to share a good time with us, Lord. Thank you for our family and friends also, uh, Lord. We ask you to be with us here tonight as we have studied these chapters in Genesis, that we have a good remembrance of what we studied as we take this, this test tonight to use these things that we have studied and used and to apply them to our lives and use them in the best way that we can to, and to further your work along. We ask you to be with the uh, missionaries that we have in our foreign fields that's working to bring many souls to you, to be with Brother Eddie and Brother Rick in Romania, that they have a good trip, a great trip, keep them safe in it, keep bring them home safely, but let them do much good and gain much out of what they do. We also ask you to touch our brothers and sisters that we have in Romania and these other, and these other foreign, uh, foreign lands, that they continue your work over there and that we may gain many souls through it. We uh, ask you to be with the sick and afflicted that we know of that's on our hearts and minds and those that need those special blessings, Lord. We ask you to touch them as only you can to bring them back to their most wanted places in, uh, in life. Be with those that have lost loved ones, Lord. We ask you to comfort the sorrow and pain of those that have lost those loved ones as only you can. 
those that have been in disasters, natural and man-made, let them know and understand all things happen to come through you. And if they look to you in the right way, you're there to help them in the best way you know that they need it, Lord. We thank you for the sacrifice made for our men and women in our armed forces, being away from their families, fighting battles, and just doing their job, if all possible, keep them safe and bring them home to their loved ones. Also, those that are in the medical field, security, firefighters, all others, keep them safe in their duty, but let them do those duties to the best of their ability and the way they should be done, Lord. We ask you as we go through this test tonight, this worship, that we do it in a way that's well-pleasing to, to you and in your sight. And we can use the things that we use, that we study and learn from the Bible to further along and hopefully be good examples of those round about if they want to be those true Christians and work and have that home in heaven. We ask you to guard, guide, and direct us through this life. And when it's over, we hope we have lived it in a way that we deserve that home in heaven. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. All right, who needs a copy of the exam? They should, should have been spread out. Who needs a pencil? Everybody, everybody's had have all of that. All right. Everybody good to go? All right, you got 30 questions. You got 20 minutes. And you can begin now. All right, time is up. Time to look at the answers. Did everybody do good? Well, y'all define it. Y'all define good like you want to define it, but I would define good as you studied and learned something before you got here. All right, let's let's go. We'll we'll go ahead and grade. Number one. Abraham took another wife whose name was Hagar, Keturah, or Sheba. It is Keturah. Hagar, Hagar, he had a wife, or actually a concubine, I guess you would say. And Hagar, who was uh, Sheba or Sheba? That's not even a woman, that's a man, a boy. Look it up there in the chapter. Number two. But to the sons of his blank, Abraham gave gifts. And while he was still living, he sent them away from his son Isaac eastward to the east country. Concubines, servants, or wives? All right. It is A, concubines. Number three, number three. Abraham breathed his last and died in a good old age, an old man and full of blank, and was gathered to his people. Faith, years, righteousness. Full of years, B, full of years. <clears throat> Number four, these are the sons of Ishmael and these are their names by their villages and by their encampments, blank princes according to their tribes. 12 princes, many princes, or seven princes? The answer is A, 12, 12 princes. Number five, afterward his brother came out with his hand holding Esau's blank, so his name was called Jacob. Isaac was 60 years old when she bore them, holding his foot, holding his ankle, or holding his heel? Holding his C, heel, holding his heel. Number six, Number six, then Jacob gave Esau bread and lentil stew, and he ate and drank and rose and went his way. Thus Esau blank his birthright, sold his birthright, forsook his birthright, or despised his birthright. I'm hearing two different answers. 
The answer is C, despised. He despised his birthright. Number seven, number seven, there was a famine in the land besides the former famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Gerar, to Abimelech, king of the blank, Hittites, Philistines, or Canaanites. All right, I just heard one answer. It is B, the Philistines. The Philistines. We think about the Philistines later on in the days of David, but the Philistines had been around much longer than that. King of the Philistines. Number eight, I will multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven and will give to your offspring all these lands. And in your offspring, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because blank obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. Abraham, you, or Isaac? The answer is Abraham. Abraham. Speaking to Isaac, but he's talking about Abraham. Number nine. So Abimelech warned all the people, saying, Whoever blank this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. Whoever touches, whoever approaches, or whoever detains this man and his wife. Which one? It is A, whoever touches this man or his wife. Number 10. Number 10, but when Isaac's servants dug in the blank and found there a, a, a well of spring water, desert, Negev, or valley? It is valley, see, dug in the valley. Number 11, and he moved from there and dug another well, and they did not quarrel over it. So he called its name Rehoboth, saying, for now the Lord has made room for us, and we shall be blank in the land. Inhabitants, sojourners, or fruitful? The answer is C, fruitful. Fruitful in the land. Number 12, number 12. In the morning they rose early and exchanged oaths and Isaac sent them on their way and they departed from him in fear, in peace, or in haste. The answer is, well, who is he talking about here? Abimelech and his general. Okay, so they departed from him in B, peace. They departed from him in peace. Number 13. He said, Behold, I am blank. I do not know the day of my death. I am weak. I'm old. I'm dying. The answer is B, old. Old. Fourteen. Go to the flock and bring me two good young blank so that I may prepare th uh, from them delicious food for your father such as he loves. Two calves, two sheep, or two goats? Bring me two good young goats.
goats. Two good young goats. C. Number 15. Number 15. And he did not recognize him because his hands were blank like his brother Esau's hands, so he blessed him. Smooth, strong, or hairy? His hands were hairy. Why were they hairy? They put, she put the skin of the goats over his hands. 16. 16. May God give you of the blank of heaven and of the fatness of the earth and plenty of grain and wine. Do <coughs> blessings or power. May God give you of the dew of heaven. The dew of heaven. Number 17. Esau said, He's not, uh, is he not rightly named Jacob? For he has cheated me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he has taken away my blessing. Then he said, have you not blank a blessing for me? Spoken, considered, or reserved? Have you not C, reserved? Have you not reserved a blessing for me? Number 18. Then Rebekah said to Isaac, I loathe my blank because of the Hittite women. If Jacob marries one of the Hittite women like these, one of the women of the land, what good will my life be to me? My life, I loathe my life, loathe my son, or loathe my family. Loathe my life because of her daughters-in-law. Number 19. Number 19. <clears throat> then Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and directed him, you must not take a wife from the blank women, the Hittite women, the Canaanite women, or the Philistine women. Now where had Esau taken his wives from? The Hittites, what did he tell him? Which one on, on this question? You must not take a wife from the Hittite, Canaanite, or Philistine. All right, the answer is Canaanite women. B, Canaanites, B. Number 20, number 20. God blank bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you that you may become a company of peace peoples. God Almighty, God will, or God has? God Almighty. God Almighty. A. Twenty-one, number twenty-one. And he dreamed, and behold, there was a blank set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven, and behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. A pathway, a ladder, or a mountain. All right, if you miss that one, it is ladder. Everybody remembers Jacob's ladder. 22, 22. Your offspring shall be like the blank of the earth, and you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south, and in you and your offspring shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Dust, sand, or abundance? You shall be like the dust, of the earth. Now there are occasions when he speaks of 
the sand of the seashore, the sands of the seashore, but this is the dust of the earth. 23, number 23. And he was afraid and said, how awesome is this place. This is none other than the house of God and this is the blank of heaven. The stairway, the entrance, or the gate. This is the gate of heaven. <laughs> this is the gate of heaven. Saw the ladder, but he said, this is the gate. Do I? 24. 24. And this stone which I have set up for a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that you give me, I will give a full blank to you. A full tenth, a full portion, or a full return. I heard tenth. I will give a full tenth to you. That's Jacob speaking. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Then Jacob went on his journey and came to the land of the people of the land, east, or Lord. Came to the people of the east. Came to the people of the east. Twenty-five, or twenty-six, rather. As he looked, he saw a well in the field, and behold, three flocks of sheep lying beside it. For out of all, out of that well, the <clears throat> for out of that well the blank were watered. The stone of the well's mouth was large. The camels were watered. The herds were watered, or the flocks were watered. All right, it should be flocks. Now remember, when Abraham's servant went, what were they watering? Camels. Camels. And they were in the same location. Okay? 27. 27. Then Jacob blanked Rachel and wept aloud, kissed, embraced, or held? The answer is kissed Rachel. That kiss was probably not a big smooch on the mouth, okay? It was probably a kiss on the cheeks. 28, Leah's blank were weak, but Rachel was beautiful in form and appearance. Arms, eyes, or features? Her eyes were weak. Her eyes were weak. 29, Laban said, it is not so done in our country to give you uh, to give the younger before the firstborn. Complete the blank of this one, and we will give you the other also in return for serving me another seven years. Complete the years of this one, complete the marriage of this one, or complete the week of this one. All right, everybody agree? The answer is week. And so I asked the question when we were going over it, how long after he married the first one, Leah, was he able to marry Rachel? Seven days, one week, one week. Number 30, last one. And Leah conceived and bore a son, and she called his name Reuben, for she said, because the Lord has looked upon my affliction, for now my husband will blank me will love me, will accept me, or will hate me? The answer is A, 
for now my husband will love me because she had a child. How many only missed one? Well, let me we'll stop. How many got them all right? I was, I was assuming that uh, nobody got them all right. <laughs> How many only missed one? All right. Got one over here. Got one over here. So we got two that only missed one. Good. Good job. How many only missed two? All right. Got several around. Only missed two. How many missed three? All right. How many missed only four? How many missed only five? How many don't want to say? All right, good job. I say it every time. I'm going to say it one more time. If we studied, then we won. And that's the key. All right, next month for October, we'll have chapters 30. 31, 32, and 33. Chapters 30 through 33, only four chapters this time. Only four. We got two of those chapters that are fairly long. One is 55 verses, the other thinks 43 verses, and then one's 20, something like that. But 30 through 33, 30, 31, 32, and 33, four chapters. All right, any, any questions, comments? Anything? Anything else we need to announce, make an announcement about? Uh, this coming Friday, for those who are in our W-2 crew, we'll be having our luncheon here in the fellowship hall. That will be at 1130. That's our widows and widowers. We'll do that this coming Friday at 1130. If nothing else, let's go to our Heavenly Father in prayer. Holy and righteous Father in heaven, we're so thankful for all of the blessings that you give us each day. Father, we're thankful for your son who came and lived for us and died for us. Father, help us as we study through this book of Genesis to learn that, that the things that we're reading about are the things that would bring him into this world. And Heavenly Father, help us to, to remember him and consider the history that went into his his coming into the world. And not only remember the history that brought him into the world, but Heavenly Father, remember the time that we're living in, that we need to be sharing him throughout the world. Father, we pray for forgiveness of sins. We know that we sin from time to time. We ask Heavenly Father that as we repent that you forgive us of all the things that we do that are not in harmony with your will. Father, we're mindful of the sick. We pray that you'll continue to be with them and help them as only you can. Father, we are mindful of those who have lost loved ones through death. We pray for their strength and their comfort in the days and the weeks that are uh, ahead for them. Father, we pray for Rick and for Eddie as they are traveling in Romania and doing your work there. We pray that you'll keep them safe. Father, we pray for our nation. We pray for our leaders. Father, we pray that as we take stock of the things that, that, that we have the ability to do as citizens of this nation, may we remember that one of those things is to vote. And may, Heavenly Father, we keep your word and your will in mind as we do that. Father, there's so many things that we need to bring to your attention, but these things we ask right now in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat>